Okay, so what if uh, one feels like one is um, uh, being attacked by Lucifer or demons or devils or whatever it is um, uh, in different ways, you know, either overtly uh, or, um, you know, through thoughts? Well, okay, so it's quite complicated. Um, within the illusion, uh, as... as um, as Jesus Christ, uh, sort of, as it's said in the Bible, Jesus Christ was tempted by Lucifer for power. Now that 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 would I would say through Hawkins' research was nonverbal. That happened beyond the beyond thought, at a very very high level of consciousness. So it's just um, the collective ego uh, the, the it has its own defenses to keep testing spiritual seekers at every level. Each time you want to make a spiritual advancement, uh, there is a temptation or a test or a fasana, whatever you want to say. They, they kind of, um, the uh, the tests come at each level of development, and one can either pass and go up or fail and go back down again. So, um, and sometimes one can go down very far if one fails a test or a temptation. So they are, um, uh, these there are different types of tests. You know, um, the seven deadly sins is a broad idea: lust, anger, greed, sloth, uh, pride, various things uh, which can be um, fallen. One can fall for. So, and it's also the thing like um, usually a spiritual advanced spiritual seekers had many lifetimes. So there have been times when. Um, you only become susceptible to demons and devils and all kinds of things if you made a spiritual error in the past, and therefore you've lost, um, you've now opened the door uh, in your belief systems or your chakras or your energy, so that you're now open game for them. Um, uh, what would be an example? For example, if um, uh, if I stole money uh, in my in my greed. Uh, then uh, I, I, you know, I, I tend to lose. I will lose divine protection in that area. So the devils and the demons can easily test me in that area, and I won't have much of a defense until I've earned it spiritually. So uh, and need to refuse any temptation or any thought uh, that arises. So now the the thing to know with um, there are various prayers, you know. Uh, uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, I order you to leave if you feel there's an entity in the room. Uh, you just keep repeating that, uh, you know, in, uh, as one way, or you can pray. I would do that, something like the Lord's Prayer. There can be other prayers from different religions, Muslim. Uh, uh, or uh, also um, to for protection, or to ask God for mercy and and help in the area one is being tempted on or attacked on. It depends. With obsessive thoughts um, or phobias, which are very similar, obsessive thoughts and phobias, obsessive thoughts and phobias, uh, which also link in with addictions as well, like, or also an obsessive control thing would be like, you need to check that the door is shut 300 times, otherwise it might not be locked. So that'd be an obsessive compulsive action and thoughts. Phobias, um, the phobias are all, um, you know, you can get phobias of people, phobia of spiders, phobias of uh, flying, all kinds of different phobias. Or you get the common one with obsessive compulsive is everything has to be cleaned 300 times. Oh, no, I need to clean it another time because it might still have a speck of dust on it. Oh, let me clean it again. So that, that kind of obsessive compulsive. And addictions, you know, like I need to make sure uh, I've got enough uh, donuts in the fridge to last for a week in case you know there's a donut shortage next week in the world so all of those kind of things um now that that's happening there's a few things with that one is um 12 step groups i do recommend if you can find any 12 step group because they tend to get you out of addictions and that tends to help you get out of obsessive compulsiveness and phobias because addictions phobias and obsessive compulsive disorder they all come from very low levels of consciousness where the, there's too much thinking and when there's too much thinking, the light the light of consciousness is not present. And so these darker forms of manifestation, uh, which is obsessive compulsive disorder, phobias and addictions start to manifest because of, um, now 
uh, 12 step programs will help you break uh, addictions and phobias and addic all of those things because you you get the support to go through the feelings um, and not not act out so for example let's say it's like you've got a an obsessive compulsive disorder with cleaning like you have to clean the house three million times a day and you can't stop otherwise you, f you think you'll die if you don't stop cleaning the house or checking that the door's locked whatever it is so you know you then go you know you then commit and uh, you get the support of a sponsor 12-step groups i but people who don't believe they're addicted to food sugar or um have sex and love addiction or are not alcoholics or debtors I recommend something like Al-Anon, uh, uh, which is for people who have friends and relatives who might have addiction. But everyone ha everyone knows somebody who has addiction. So you qualify for that just so you can go through the 12 steps and uh, get the energetic support of a sponsor. Um, uh, uh, and and the Because in those groups, is, they're very powerful for letting go of obsessive compulsive thinking, phobias and dramas. Otherwise, if it's like... A, uh, if you feel it's actually a, a, a spiritual entity, you can pray to God for God's protection or ask uh, Jesus Christ's help to protect you and ask any negative spirits to leave in the name of in the name of Jesus Christ. Um, now, um, it's also good to go to spiritual groups to realize how the attack is happening. Um, you know, um, and you can cancel the, if it's an obsessive compulsive cleaning thing. I cancel my belief I need to clean the house 300 times a day. I'm an infinite being. Yeah. So you just uh, try and cancel those uh, very meaningful obsessive thoughts that keep popping up. They pop up because they're meaning because there's there's too much meaning in them. So the um, the collective ego is using them. So you can cancel them. Pray pray to, to God to help uh, surrender those thoughts, forgive the thoughts, uh, go to the observer of the thoughts, go to spiritual groups and share about the problem. Um, also, if you're being attacked by negative energies, going to high vibration spiritual groups on a regular basis will help protect you because you start to vibrate at the energy of the group. Uh, and these these high spiritual groups are probably surrounded by hundreds of angels and helpers. So if you just go into these groups regularly, like 12-step groups or Course in Miracles groups, uh, you know, uh, could be that there's an angel or or angel in body or out of body that will give you the, the advice you need whereas if you sort of stick around low vibration environments and you're being attacked by demons you're, you're going to get less help because you're not defended by going to high vibration groups so just surround yourself with things that tune your vibration up go to groups speak to people uh, read literature high vibration literature um, pray of course pray 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 for divine assistance and help and protection so doing all of these things uh, uh, will start to make it much more difficult for negative entities or temptations to 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 come your way. So um, that's what I'd recommend. Um, uh, but the reason, you know, why is one person tempted by donuts and another person tempted by alcohol? Another, well, you, they have vulnerabilities because, and that's usually because um, they've lost that spiritual privilege. Uh, due to errors they've made uh, prior. So some people might be susceptible to donuts or greed or, you know, you can get various phobias around certain things um, based on certain things. But one of the things to to realize is if you keep doing the obsessive compulsive thing or the phobia, you're not going to you're not going to get better. You have to go through those feelings and cancel the root thoughts, you know, uh, and then uh, so with my food addiction, um, you know, I have to eat all the time sugary food. Uh, when I made the commitment to God, I was willing to die, but go through that panic attack and not eat. And it's only on the other side of the panic attack where uh, I realized that the feelings passed and then uh, and that God's on the other side. There's peace on the other side if you go through the illusion uh, of all of these uh, all of these attacks.